The Nintendo 64, a classic gaming console that many people grew up with and experienced. And in today's video, I'm going to be discussing my current modern day setup for the Nintendo 64 and going to be talking about maybe some products you don't know are on the market. And this video, I use products from Stone Age Gamer. They sent me some and I purchased some in this video and want to discuss the many ways you can upgrade and maximize what you can get out of the Nintendo 64. It's a great classic gaming console. Uh, you know, I have many happy memories of playing on my Nintendo 64 and I know many out there have some familiar experiences and grew up with it or maybe experienced it after it came out. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the many products and ways you can upgrade your Nintendo 64. So sit back, relax. Here we go. First up is a region free bracket that you can apply to your N64 by taking the six screws off the bottom of your Nintendo 64 and removing the jumper pack or expansion pack. I'll talk about that later. And then your North American console will be able to play imports, which typically are cheaper. This is a money saving option and highly recommend it. We've all had nightmare stories of losing saves on memory packs. This is a new memory pack that does not use a battery and it's the Forever Pack 64, comes in different colors and I think it's awesome. The controller that I recommend is the Brawler 64 Wireless. I've had a lot of great luck using this controller and it also comes with a dongle where you can use memory packs and plug them in for games such as Gauntlet 64. Fantastic game, highly recommend playing it and you know these are great modern products where you can utilize on your original nintendo 64 with a memory pack that's going to work every time it's not going to go out as well as a wireless controller you may not be a big fan of the original controller it's nice that there are many other options to game and use alternative controllers or some other companies. Uh, Retrobit makes a aftermarket wireless controller as well. And Retro Fighters also makes a wired controller if you wanna go that route. There is the Ultra HDMI, which is not available for internal modding. There's also the Pixel FX, which is also sold out, but Stone Age Gamer does offer the installation service in the event that you do come across it. There's also the Super 64, which is in stock. This is an expensive add-on, but this is a simple way of hooking up your Nintendo 64. It doesn't require mod to any HD TV. And here is a simple uh, comparison I did in a former video years back using a Retro Tink 2X before the 5X was on the market comparing it to some cheap Hyperkin cables and wanted to show some of the similarities and there's pros and cons. Now, the Super 64 is not the best way of hooking up your Nintendo 64, but it might be the easiest, but it is expensive. Now, in the event that you can find official uh, Nintendo 64 S video cables and you have the ability to uh, combine it with a Retro Tink 5X or maybe even just want to go old school on a CRT, you will notice a difference. It's not perfect and every hookup has its pros and cons. But you know, for me, I, you know, years back got an ultra HDMI mod and that is the way that I go. I wanted to so, show some comparisons from a former video that I did. I'll put a link below for the entire video if you want to check it out. The prices may not be accurate on this comparison list, but there are pros and cons. I wanted to show this. This is also from that former video that I did. As you can see, there's lots of things to consider when getting a video upgrade for your Nintendo 64. Another upgrade I highly recommend is the EverDrive 64. These have been harder to get in the past, but they are available to pre-order. I purchased this one from Stone Age Gamer and I got a nice crimson color here and these can do quite a bit. It, it does a lot more than just play N64 ROMs. It's kind of cool as you can play homebrews and hacks. That's the main reason I got it is that when homebrews for the Nintendo 64 come out, I can share them on my channel as I have 
covered a few previous ones that actually were put on physical cart this last year on my channel. But here's one that came out in 2022. It also can play, that's right, Game Boy Color games and NES as well. Absolutely stunning and fantastic additional thing that these can do. I'm actually capturing this from a Nintendo 64. Looks stunning and amazing with my Ultra HDMI mod. But for many people out there, you're gonna want to play the classics as the EverDrive 64, the newest version, can do just about everything. It can play hacks, homebrews, and just original releases. As I know many of you are gonna wanna play games such as Super Mario 64. Now, it does not come with any ROMs. You're gonna to have to supply your own ROMs. There's many places where you can do that. I'm not gonna tell you where those are, but you know, if you're wanting to go and utilize the EverDrive 64, this is just a sample of the many things it can do. It also can enable cheats and other options as well. You know, this is not a full review of the EverDrive 64, but I do highly recommend it if you're wanting to get the full utilization of your Nintendo 64 and you do not want to purchase individual carts. Some are very hard to find these days. Now, there are other accessories you may want to consider. There is the transfer pack which works with very specific games, such as Pokemon Stadium. You have the Rumble Pack, and you know that is something that you are not gonna use with a wireless setup, but if you're going old school, you may wanna consider it. Works with Star Fox 64 and others. That's what it looks like. As well as, it's okay to go with old school, original memory pack, as many are still working. You can save money, and you may be able to find these at a used game store. Uh, just know that uh, sometimes your memory can be corrupted. Now, the expansion pack. This is an accessory that is very difficult to find now. I can't believe how expensive it is. But there are several games. Donkey Kong 64 and Majora's Mask are ones specifically that require it. Did you know about all these upgrades? What do you think? Do you game with a modern setup? Or do you go old school on a classic CRT and call it good? Or do you just emulate, which is totally fine if you want to go that route as well. And just want to thank everybody for coming to my channel. I cover lots of different things, everything from Atari to Xbox. A little bit of retro, a little bit of modern, and a whole bunch of fun. And so, it, what is your favorite uh, of what I showed today? And make sure to go to Stone Age Gamer. The link is below where you can check out the many products that they cover. And they support everything from Atari to Xbox. They have lots of EverDrive cartridges if you want to go that route. And upgrades and replacement parts too. As you know, these consoles are getting older and they sometimes need things to work. And a lot of people don't know where to go, where where to get these retro gaming products, especially if you don't have a local retro game store, you can check out Stone Age Gamer. I am a customer and I've been a long time fan of them, so check them out. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock and you have a good day.